Sarcoidosis is an inflammatory disease that usually settles in the lungs or lymph nodes. Clumps of inflammatory cells form in the organs and the immune system gets sent into overdrive. When too many clumps form, it affects the organ structure and function. Most of the time you're going to see uh, more of a cough, um, maybe a little bit of shortness of breath. Um, it doesn't always affect the lungs. Um, sometimes it will settle into the lymph nodes um, or even um, in, in different various body parts. Um, it's not always in the, in the lungs, even though that's the most common. Most patients are diagnosed later in life. It's considered chronic when it remains active for more than two to five years. For southern West Virginia, the threat of chronic sarcoidosis can be debilitating and life-threatening. Usually with um, the coal miners, of course, you hear about black lung, um, coal miners pneumoconiosis, and that is usually a long-term effect of working in the environment of the coal dust and things like that. Um, sarcoidosis is usually more of an inflammatory process, so of course any kind of risk factors as far as causing injury or increased um, inflammation in the lungs can lead to that. So sometimes we can see that as far as a risk factor for, for sarcoidosis. The disease is uncommon but life-changing as there is limited treatment but no cure. Treatments are going to be more centered on treating that part of the body that's affected. Um, if it's in the lungs, you're going to treat with, you know, with lung type medic medications. Um, if there's a particularly large granuloma, um, of course they can, can remove it if it's causing a lot of issues. Um, but there's really not a whole lot of um, treatments per se and there's definitely no cure. If you have symptoms and suspect sarcoidosis could be the culprit, check with a physician to see if tests need to be done. Reporting for you, I'm Cassie Simmons, Newswatch.